guess we're rolling. We're going. We're rolling. Is it wrap? Does that look okay? All right. Well, this is uh, some uh, work here. I call this the uh, this here the uh, shelf of fame. This one here. Can you get can you get it in the camera on that? Mm -hmm. Now this one here. Uh, that's Alan Alda from Mash. Uh, that's one of my first masterpieces, I'd say. You can see detail. He's got the hair up there, and uh, I wrote Alan Alda. He didn't. He never got back to me though. I wanted to come, maybe take a look, take a picture of him next to it. This one here. Now this one's an interesting story. This one's made out of an apple. The other one, that one's made out of potato. Now this one here, this is uh, Jack Kennedy. Uh, that's the first in the series I'm going to be doing called the Presidential Series. I want to get all the presidents together. And uh, that's the first one, Jack Kennedy. He's my favorite. I've uh, always been a huge JFK uh, fan. Except for that Bay of Pigs thing. I don't know what that was all about. That's, that's another story. We we don't have to we don't have time to go into that. If you can come around now, I'm going to show you this one. And this one is based on the uh, this one's fairly new. Uh, based on Last of the Mohicans. That's Magua. Can you see Magua there? You might say uh, you might say this one's uh, a caricature. <laughs> a, a caricature. A, a caricature. Guy, he's got what this one's his feather, so to speak, is out of place here. There we go. So this is where I put my master work. Some of them that uh, they don't come out so good. Put them down in the basement with me. But uh, I've been doing it now for about ten years. Always, uh, always looking to do something new. This presidential series, I'm real excited about that because you see here, I got Jack Kennedy. I'm gonna have uh, all the other presidents too. I'm gonna have. Uh, I'm going to have Clinton and, uh, and Bush and Nixon and, uh, you know, all, all the presidents, really. Going to have them all. Uh, Lincoln. I'll do a Lincoln. I don't know yet if I'm going to do the hat. Of course, Lincoln always wears that hat, that big old uh, boom, boom, uh, stone top hat. So I might do Lincoln, too. We'll have to see about that. Maybe I use two potatoes for that. That'll be a two potato president, I call. That that would be. I can't think of many other presidents I'd use two potatoes on. Uh, maybe Teddy Roosevelt. Well, it usually takes me about about three weeks to get a good uh, a good one in. Sometimes maybe less. Depends on detail. What kind of what kind of caricature I'm doing. You know, it's a profession, like any other. You got your good days and your bad. I mean it's not gonna be wine and roses every day, but but uh it, it relaxes me. It gives me a reason to get up in the morning. I was doing a nine to five uh, business thing like everybody else worked in corporate finance uh, but just wasn't me just was I was good at it as good as anybody but just wasn't me just wasn't me so about oh, about eight nine years ago I stopped I figured I'd uh, do what I love to do and what do you say they, uh, they say if you're doing what you love then you love what you're doing and uh, that pretty much sums it up. I love what I'm doing. Now that's not to say it's not dangerous work. I mean that's why I got the safety goggles. I wear the safety goggles. That's OSHA regulation. And then I got uh, I used to wear some gloves but they get in the way. You can't whittle it worth a darn if you're wearing gloves. So if I say now, what I do here with these well, people say what do you got them there for? Well what's that about? What do you do with them? You know what 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 are them things about? Well, after you after you whittle a little bit, you know you don't just whittle it and let it go. You gotta 
you gotta take off the rough exterior. And that's what this is for. It's like a, it's almost like a, a sandpaper. And then this one's that buff it. You gotta give it the soft touch too. So you might say the rough touch and then the soft touch. Hey, Trigger. Trigger. Come over here. We're gonna. My dog. I like to treat my dog like a horse, huh? Give me a kiss. Mm, give, me this. give me a kiss. That's a good horse. All right, now you go ahead. You go ahead with yourself. I like coming down here to my workshop. Something about this workshop that just makes makes me feel uh, isolated, I guess. The word for it, isolated. Free. Like a little bird flying around. Tweet, tweet. That's me. Oh, who wants a cat? Come here. Come here. Who wants a cat? Hey, who? Who wants a cat? Who? Who wants a cat? Uh, oh yeah, that's love. Whitland's not easy. Whitland's tough. It's dangerous work. Anyone will tell you. All the greats will tell you that. If you don't like danger, you shouldn't be in this game. If you don't, if you don't have that mindset like a race car driver, or I guess an astronaut, or some sort of dangerous construction trade. That's all this is. It's crafts, but it's pretty dangerous crafts. I mean, it's probably the most dangerous craft I can think of. Because uh, you got a knife and an apple, and that's it. The only thing keeping you, you from stabbing yourself is the apple. Now, you think about that for a second. I want you to think about that. So you can see it's dangerous work. A lot of people ask me why I do it. A lot of people, when I tell them what I do, say, why do you do that? Other than, you know, the money, of course. I think I do it because uh, I love helping people. And if it's through a gift or through some sort of donation or whatever, if they get an apple and it looks like the president's, I think it makes people happy to get that. Well, I, I hope you learned something about Whitland today and maybe even something about life. I, I don't know. Uh, but certainly I think you know a bit more about me and what I do. And, uh, you know, I look forward to having you come back again sometime. And, uh, and join me. Maybe I'll even uh, be finished the presidential series there by that time. But, uh, good luck and good whittling.